fuck? That's that's it there. What is that? Oh my god, there's blood on the walls. Oh! What the fuck? What's up guys, I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another creepy adventure. Today we are embarking on a journey into this haunted mental asylum in the middle of nowhere. I'm somewhere deep in Quebec, Canada. This mental asylum had some very, very terrible history. Doctors were tormenting kids, torturing kids, even killing kids at some point. There are a lot of confirmed deaths inside of this mental asylum. I'm gonna be going inside of it with my friend Angelo. We're gonna be exploring it. We're gonna be investigating it for anything paranormal. This place has had two fires because of the kids that were in this asylum as well. Smash that like button. Don't forget to get yourself some Live A Little merch. Let's get on to this adventure. All right, you guys, as you can see, there's the haunted mental asylum right there. We are about to go inside. I have no idea what to expect from this. All I know is that this place is super scary from what I'm told. All right, you guys, we've made it into the mental asylum. And this place is looking superiorly creepy. Look at this, the old logo from back in the day still here. Wow, that's awesome. So obviously the investigation begins. It's gotten so much darker. Whoa. Oh God, there's water everywhere. Look at all this. So this place, I don't expect to find any furniture in here. Maybe some decay. Lots of decay actually, not some. A lot of decay. But you never know, sometimes these places, they look all destroyed like this but then you end up finding some really cool shit inside. Today's investigation, I'm gonna be keeping it a little bit different. It's gonna, kinda gonna be vlog style. I'm just gonna go with the flow, roll what I film, see what happens. If we catch something, we catch something. If not, then we're gonna leave. Um, and I'll still be posting this video though. Smash that like button. Whew, I'm kinda scared to be honest. sucks that there's water in here. It's super cold. So if you guys remember a long time ago, I went to a mental asylum called the Daria, called the Daria Mental Institute. And that place is a good three hours away from here, maybe even four hours. But the thing is, this mental asylum, it's kind of it's sister's asylum. By that I mean the doctor that was tormenting the kids in the Daria Mental Asylum was the same doctor tormenting the kids in this one too. He was moving back and forth from different orphanages and mental asylums, and he was mistreating kids, and they were actually doing experiments on young kids. And the government knew about these experiments, but they did nothing. Back in those days, nobody really did anything about anything. They just made these kids believe that they're mental, mentally ill, but they actually weren't. So a lot of these kids were just normal orphans that didn't have families, and they were forced to be in places like this. Now, after this place, was shut down by the government and after all the kids were able to leave a lot of the kids grew up and they ended up they ended up suing the government or the people in charge and they they all won the lawsuit and they were given a substantial amount of money i don't know how much money to be exact but a lot of the kids were paid off 18,000 each 15,000 each yeah which is really sad in comparison to what they, they were tortured. Yeah, what they put them through is just ridiculous. They were tortured as kids and they were only given $15,000. Like that's, honestly, that's not that much money. Get the... What the fuck was that? What was that? I have no idea. 
Hello? What the hell was that? There's nothing. Is it so in here? Something fell or got. Somebody over there? You heard that too? Oh, yeah. That came from behind you? Yeah. That literally sounded like a rock. So we were just sitting here behind the scenes, tinkering around with our cameras, and we started hearing some noises, and we're like, we laughed it off. We thought it was just water. But then as I started recording, I caught a loud bang coming from this room here. There are any spirits in here? Make yourself known. That was a loud one though from in here. Mm -hmm. That literally sounded like a rock was thrown. Yeah. So as I was about to enter, I was reading this. It said, get the F out. And then something got thrown in there. There's nothing in here. It's just a big empty room. It's creepy though. Mm -hmm. I'm sensing a lot of negativity coming from this place. Keep in mind, kids were tortured here, and this place did catch fire twice, and even kids died throughout the fire. How many kids died in the fires? Three in the first fire, and then nine in the second. Three in the first fire, and then nine in the second fire yeah. died in this mental asylum. So this place has had a lot of negative history to it. I was telling Angelo off camera that we should split up, but I don't think we're going to do that. Making our way upstairs right now, you guys. We started off on the first floor. Now we're going up to the second floor. All the windows are boarded up, which is strange. Yeah, they've broken all the glass on every window. They've boarded up some. Oh, up here they're not boarded up. Oh man. Scary vibes coming from this place. Scary vibes. Scary vibes. Scary vibes coming from this place. Look at this. It's been closed for 30 years? I would assume it's been closed for much longer than that, just by the condition that it's in. So I want you guys to keep your eyes wide open. You guys have been finding a lot of weird things that are unexplainable in my videos. Places that are in the darkness, like back through there. If you guys do spot anything, make sure you comment it down below or at least tag me on social media and I'll check it out with you guys and maybe we can do a reaction video on my second channel. Let's explore floor number two. Another empty room over here. Now, we're not really here to see what's inside the rooms. We're here to investigate. We're here to see if we can possibly catch something paranormal in these places. This place is the, one of the best places to come and search for that because of all the negative energy that's probably still emanating from this building throughout the years. I don't know why, but I feel like some... Classroom classrooms? Yeah. So this was a form of torture classrooms. They would torture all the <laughs> students by making them learn shit. Yeah. You know what I keep seeing in my head? What? I keep seeing like some massive being is going to come running at us. I feel like that too. Just down the hallway. Like I don't know why, but I feel like something's just going to pop up from over there. And it's just going to come running right at us. It's weird. But obviously there's nobody else here. We're the only people inside of this entire building and actually in this whole area this place is in the middle of nowhere it's so icy over here icy it's wet my socks are wet it's gross oh my god i'm like slipping oh whoa whoa splits splits 
about to do the splits. I'm wearing hiking shoes too. <laughs> They're supposed to have some good grip. I'm doing okay. I got fucking skate shoes. <laughs> really? Yeah. Whoop. No, you're sliding too, bro. I jinxed myself. Yeah. I swear to God, I've fallen. I've slipped on so much ice in my day. I hurt my back doing that one time. You got to be careful. It's very dangerous. Yeah, I heard somebody walking back there. Could have been water, Could have been. but what I heard was like somebody stepping on snow. We just need to keep looking over our shoulders, that's all. Mm -hmm. Holy crap, look at that mural on that wall. Yeah, I would really like to know who took their time to draw this here, because this is just a work of art. There's so much detail in it. I don't know, dude, I feel like somebody's following us. Yeah, I feel like somebody's constantly watching us. Like, I, I hear the water dropping. You know, everybody can hear the water. What the? Yeah, Fuck. that's that's it, there. What is that? What is that? I don't know. <sighs> You heard that? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> it sounded like it was coming towards us. What the f was that? Was laughing at us. Yeah, it sounded like something was laughing right? at us. Yeah. Dude. Hello? Get some here. Who's here? Everywhere we go, it feels like someone is following us or something is following us. But trust me, this place is so dark. I don't know what that was, dude. I can't explain it. It was literally like something just laughing at us. Yeah. Odd. I never heard that before. Yeah. That was strange. I'm kind of like scared to keep going now. Dude, I'm like I'm really <laughs> nervous right now. <laughs> Pretty sure the camera captured that laughter. It was emanating right here from this room that we're standing in. And it was kind of like it was coming closer to us. And then it faded away. Making it up to the third floor now. I think this place is four floors or three floors in total. Not 100% sure. All right, let's see what this floor has in store for us. Every floor is different. Every floor has its own demons. What demon is living in here? I don't know, but this is scary. Whoa. Now this is a big room. I don't know what all this was. Maybe a cafeteria at some point, but it's massive. I know you guys probably want me to use a spirit box in here, but I don't think I'm gonna do it in here. I don't know why. There's just something in me that's telling me not to use a spirit box in this mental asylum. I'll, this place is mega haunted. I shouldn't even need a spirit box to capture paranormal activity in here. This is all ice, by the way. It's a little bit wet. I'm actually happy that it's a bit frozen because our feet would get completely soaked if it wasn't. Look at that, that's all ice. Oh, what the f Holy crap. Those are pigeons. Oh, shit. Oh, what the heck? Where are they coming from? <laughs> Yo, pigeon, my boy. Come here, let's get a photo shoot. Damn. Yo, oh, look at them. They're all up here. Could that have been what, could that have been what we heard downstairs? Or that was different. That was like a demonic sound. Weird, yeah, that was like a weird demonic laughter. Pigeon. Hey, pigeon, my boy. How you doing? You want to come say hi? <laughs> He's just looking at me. <laughs> He's like, man, you're blinding me. This one's possessed. It's got red eyes. I swear to God. It's got some red eyes. Let's leave the possessed pigeon alone. Like I said, every floor has some type of... Oh, my God. Jesus, now that's something creepy. It's so hard to walk up here, you guys, because it's all frozen. So the upstairs is kind of boring. There's really not much going on. Oh my God, there's blood on the walls. Holy shit, there's literally blood over here. At least what, look. 
Oh, pigeon. To me, this doesn't look like paint. That's red paint up there. This right here looks like some type of blood. Do you guys want to see how dark it is outside? That's how dark it is outside. Literally nothing but forests and mountains all around us and you cannot see a single house or a light anywhere. So I'm following that trail of blood that I seen on the door. There's a trail of blood. Look at that handprint on the actual door. And there's more blood here. Look, all over the walls. We got some more blood going down the railways. I wonder where it's all going. I wonder if this blood is going to lead us somewhere. I see some more here. This does look like blood though, not paint. Because mm -hmm. paint, you can tell the difference from paint and actual blood. Blood turns a bit dark and brown over time. How's that possible? I just put on a brand new battery. So my battery is being drained by something in here. It's a fresh battery, I just put it in. I have lots of batteries. I keep a lot of charged ones with me, obviously. But the fact that this one is already dying, it means something is trying to drain my battery. Hello, are there any ghosts in here? Any spirits of the children that died in this building? If so, make your presence known. We wanna to talk to you, we wanna communicate with you. Though that's water. I heard actual running. If that was you that was running just now, please make something move in this room. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Can you please give us Proof that you're here with us. Oh, what the hell is wrong with my stomach? It's not hurt? Yeah, it just started hurting right now. The second I asked for proof. Oh. It literally feels like something's stabbing me with something sharp in the stomach right now. Oh, f me. Oh. Uh, ask it if it's doing this. Are you doing this to Mo? Oh. I said give me a sign, don't hurt me, you piece of sh**. Jesus. So I'm guessing there's an evil spirit in here. Most likely a demon that feeds off the negative energy and probably the fear off the children that died in here. Fuck man, that actually hurts. Oh, it's like something stabbing me here. Yeah. I, I kid you not. No, there's no houses anywhere here. We heard like a a muffled scream come yeah. from outside. Something. I'm switching over to night vision right now. So I cannot see anything. He can though, he's got his flashlight. But it's gonna be much, much darker. And we might actually capture something on the night vision camera. So hopefully we can see something here. For some of you that are skeptic and are like, oh, the noises you guys are hearing in here is probably water. 80% of it is water. But there's that other time when it's not water and it's sounding like footsteps that are coming closer and closer to us. And that's what's freaking us out in this place. I'm hoping that it is footsteps because I do want to capture something in here. Oh, are there any spirits of any kids that died in this place? I wonder where the rooms were that the children died in. I'm not sure. So, oh, oh. Oh my God, I thought the floor was giving underneath me. It's just the ice. Yeah. Holy shit, that scared the living crap out of me.
We should go back to the room where we heard that strange laughter mm -hmm. and do some EVPs in there. Yeah. Yo, ice breaking underneath your feet, no matter how shallow it is, is freaking scary. Hello, demons. Spirits. Whatever else is living in here. Show yourself. This room right here is where we heard that strange laughter. And I'm thinking we should do an EVP in this room right now. Hopefully we can capture something. Did you make that really creepy laugh? I heard it. Who's making these noises right now? I literally heard Tom. How many of us are in this room right now? Two? Two, what the f***? Did you say two? Two, again. Yeah, two again. Oh my god. Are you a demon or are you a friendly spirit? Are you a demon or a friendly spirit? What kind of demon are you? Were you here when these kids were tortured and killed? Were you the reason this place caught fire? Bro, did you just hear that? A bunch of kids crying saying help us? I'm pretty sure I got that. When you asked earlier, I could have sworn I heard kids. Like it literally said kids when you asked who was here. Were those the kids screaming just now, or was it you, demon? Was you was it you mimicking the kids? We see you. Something. I know, and I heard a growl in that room. We were getting very accurate responses from the spirit boxes now. That really concerns me, but right now we're going to be using an EVP recorder. We're going to record and see if we can capture voices that we can't hear with our own ears. Is there anybody here with us? If so, how many out there are you? Was there somebody laughing at us in the corner over there? I know what I heard. My ears are, are, are clean. You know, I, I'm, I have a really good hearing, and what we heard earlier was no joke. It was a laughter, and it sounded demonic. Is there anybody here with us? If so, how many of there are you? I heard that, right? Yeah. Was there somebody laughing at us in the corner over there? That was weird. As we were playing the recording, we heard footsteps. Something walking over there. I heard the laughing again over there. You heard the laughing? Yeah. I heard walking. Literally the second I hit play on this thing. Uh, yeah, I heard walking and you heard laughing. That's it could have been it could have been uh, laughing, yeah. It could have been the same laughing as earlier. Mm -hmm. My name is Mo Sarji and I'm here with Angelo. And we're here to communicate with any spirits that are in this place. We hear kids have died here. We hear that there's a lot of negative energy here. If you want to communicate with us, you can talk directly into this. We can't hear you, but this can capture your voices. Prove to us that you exist and prove to us that you are here. My name is Mo Sarji, and I'm here with Angelo. And we're here to communicate with any spirits that are in this place. We hear kids have died here. We hear that there's a lot of negative energy here. If you want to communicate with us, you can talk directly into this. We can't hear you. This can capture your voices. Prove to us that you exist and prove to us that you are here. <gasps> yeah, I heard that. That was in the recording. Yeah. Play that back.
Oh, what the hell is that? I don't know. It's like something appeared. There's like a mist over there. I've seen a mist. Like in this room? In the, right? no, the far room at the end of the hallway. I'm zoomed in all the way at the end of the hallway. I've seen some sort of mist. Okay, well I thought I saw one like right in front of me, like right really? here, yeah. Pretty much right around the time you said you saw yours. I don't know what I thought I saw. I seen it on my screen on the night vision. Some sort of mist, but now it's gone. All right guys, we've been here long enough. And we got a long drive to go tonight, so we're gonna head on out of here. And hopefully catch something on the way out. We're gonna keep recording though. All right guys, I'm gonna conclude this investigation. I hopefully we capture something. We're gonna be reviewing all the footage tonight. Thank you to Angelo for bringing me to these locations. He's been taking me to a lot of locations in Canada and Quebec area. So big shout out to him. His link is down below. This video would not have been possible without him. And uh, smash the like button if you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want more content like this, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to get yourself some Live A Little merch. Be you, do you, stay positive, and just live a little. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. And don't forget to tag me if you guys see anything spooky in the backgrounds.